God, we look to you tonight. Above the singing, God, above the music, above the songs, let your name be lifted high, Jesus. Let your name be honoured, God. And we commit all that we are to you, God, and everything that we do. And we reach towards you.
God of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of time. And as you speak A hundred billion creatures catch your breath. 
Speaker. We have a funeral in town. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I think. The eighth day of the fifth regular session of the 22nd Congress will now come to order. May we have a moment of uh, silent prayer. <laughs>
Okay, Kirk, roll call. Senator Arredoz? Yes. Senator Christian? Hey, Mike. Senator Figuier? Yes. Senator Colan? Yes. Floor Leader Harper? Hey, Mike. Senator Conman? Hey, May Seng Mao. May Seng Mao, Senator. Vice Speaker Moses? Senator Nett? Senator Palig? Yes. Senator Berman. Senator Romalo. Hey, Senator Rosamal. Senator Rosamal. <coughs> Senator Wadi. Yes. Speaker Simena. Yes. Mr. Speaker, all 14 members are present. We have a full house today, uh, so we do have a quorum. Next item is reading of the journal for leader. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and good morning to you, all honorable members, staff, and everyone who's observing our session this morning from everywhere they may be. Again, I move to the reading of the journal. Second. It has been moved and seconded that we dispense with the reading of the journal. Those in favor say aye. Of all aye. Name. aye. Motion carried. We now dispense with the reading of the journal. Next item, Chief Kirk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next item is item five, presidential communications. We are in receipt of numbers 22-320 to number 22-329. Finally, a bunch of uh, communication from uh, Cross. Sign those preferred. Next item. I have some Supreme Court communications for item six. None at the moment, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Member communications for item number seven. We are in receipt of one and it's number 22-08. Okay, uh, next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For departmental communications, we have two of them, and they are numbers 22-38 uh, and number 22-40. Kindly note that the departmental communication 22-38 was inadvertently excluded out from the order of the first day of this uh, fifth regular session. Oh, Session of okay, care scientists communications at environmental communications at your work. Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next item is item number nine, agency or government governmental authority communications. As of now, we do not have any, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item number 10, state communications. We have uh, two of them, 
and they are numbers 22-21 and 22-22. Signed those, Chief Berg. Next item. Item 11, State Supreme Court Communications. None, Mr. Speaker. Next. Municipal or Town Communications for item number 12. As of now, we do not, do not have any, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Short reasons. I'm very back in session, uh, Chief Kirk. Do you have any comments to make? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the portable order. Kindly <laughs> disregard those two communications uh, labeled or indicated under item 11, State Supreme Court communications. They should be correctly put underneath on, uh, item number 10, where it says state communications, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chief Kirk, for that correction. Okay, so next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next item is item number 13, foreign government communications. We are in receipt of one and it's number 22-108. Short readers.
I'm very expecting miscellaneous communications. We have uh, two of them, and their numbers uh, 22 08 and 22 09. Mr. Speaker, the first one appears to be an interesting one, expressing some up on the compact of free association negotiations. Short reasons. Interesting one. Short reasons. Congress is back in session. Uh, Tip Burke assigned first to miscellaneous communications. Okay. We're now on our order of the day. Item 15, standing committee report. Tip Burke, do we have any? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the order of the day, item number 15, standing committee reports. We have an awaiting list number 22-30 for standing committee reports awaiting the 24 hours requirement. Short race. I'm pretty back in session. We do have that uh, waiting list, uh, 22 to 30. Members, uh, please take a look at those reports. Those are uh, uh, important and long reports. Uh, read them. Okay, next item, special committee reports. Do you have any, Chief uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As of now, under the said item, we do not have any special committee reports. Okay, next item. Item number 17, assignment of measures and communications. Kindly refer to referral sheet number 22-87. Okay, Chairman uh, and members of the committees, uh, please uh, refute uh, that for your planning purposes. Okay. Unfinished business. Do we have any different? Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, we have one, and that is on Congressional Bill number 22-147 CD1 for first reading. CB number 22-147 CD1 is a bill for an act to amend Section 205 of Title 52 of the Code of the Federated States of Magnesia, annotated as amended by Public Law number 21-237 and Public Law number 21-245 for the purpose of increasing the base salary schedule of FSM national government employees and for other purposes. Chairman uh, Romano. Short recess, Mr. Speaker. Short recess, the call of the chair.
Congress is back in session. Uh, we're still on the appeal calendar. Are we? I mean, question. Um, unfinished business. Chairman uh, Romano, motion for passage or whatever you want to make. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Motion to pass CP number 22 147 on first reading. Any second? Second. That's been moved and seconded that Congress pass on first reading CP number 22-147-CD1. Uh, discussion? Any further discussion? None? Mr. Speaker. Yes, who's that? Uh, Vice Chairman uh, Christian? I don't, I don't know about other members of Congress, I, but I am uh, always concerned about the reaction of my constituents on a vote that I might cast on a bill that would affect some of my constituents. Uh, I don't want to be misunderstood. As you know, I've for a long time in the, uh, in the recent past, we have talked about and moved this bill forward to where it is today in a favorable light. But having seen the potential for uh, diminished treasury as, as is envisioned under the Conve Constitutional Convention proposals, I must uh, exercise my vote uh, with more longevity in mind <laughs> rather than just for the immediate future. Voting for this bill with a yes now will help me get some votes in March. But voting no on this bill and delaying it will assure me that later on when we act, employees in the national government will not have to be laid off uh, in the future because of the lack of uh, funds available. And so based on my concerns, my vote will be delivered to you shortly. Okay. Thank you. Any part, uh, without further uh, discussion and without objection, discussion is closed. We will vote by roll call of the members on first reading. Chief Kirk, call the roll. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Arritas? Yes. Senator Christian? No. Senator Figuier? Yes. Senator Colant? <laughs> Senator Colant? Floor Leader Arper? It's better to try and fail rather than to fail to try. Yes. Senator Conman? Yes. Vice Speaker Moses? Senator Neth. Senator Pollock. Senator Pollock. Yes. Senator Berman. No. Senator Romalo. Yes. Senator Urosamal. Thank you, Chief Clerk. I already stated my vote. Senator Rosamal? Uh, twice. Stated no. Well, not privileged speaker. Cast your vote. So. I just stated, Mr. Speaker. No, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to uh, the point of privilege from uh, oh, Chairman okay. Cullen. What's yeah, your I'm sorry. Point? Chairman Cullen. Yeah, we are voting now. Yes, on, yes behalf, on behalf of my uh, Canadian international government, is yes. Senator Wally? No. Speaker Simina? Yes. Mr. Speaker, we have a total of eight uh, affirmative votes, six against.
For that reason, CP number 22-147C1 does not pass Congress. Next, unfinished business. Mr. Speaker, as of now, we do not have any more uh, uh, unfinished business. Okay, we're now on the bill calendar. First bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The first bill under the bill calendar is uh, Congressional Bill Number 22-18 for second and final reading. CB Number 22-18 is a bill for an act to amend Title 51 of the Code of the Federated States of Micronesia annotated by enacting a new Section 121A to allow the hiring of non-resident workers by hotel and restaurant employers and for other purposes. German, uh, Ned? Thank you, Speaker. Move on the passage on the second and final reading. Again. Okay. Okay. Okay, move and seconded. That's Congress passed on second and final reading, CP number 22-18. Discussion.
And we're just back in session. We're discussing CP 22-18, Vice Chairman Christian. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Uh, I have a proposed amendment, actually two, two, two proposals for two amendments. One proposal, <laughs> short recess. Rusmal, you have a back. And for your reference, uh, it's located under the Congress back in session. So offer your amendment. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I so move for adoption of an offered amendment that has been distributed for members review. So move for its adoption. It has been moved again. that the offer for amendment to CP22-18 offered by uh, Senator Christian uh, be adopted uh, because of its length. We will dispense with its reading. Uh, Florida Arbor, motion to suspend. Mr. Uh, Speaker, I move that we suspend <coughs> any rules which may impede our action on the proposed amendment. Second. That's been moved and seconded that the relevant rules, specifically the rules uh, for being substantive amendments on second and final reading be suspended. Those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. The uh, rules are now suspended. So let's <coughs> continue on the discussion of the uh, offered uh, for amendment. Any further discussion on the offer for amendment? If none, without objection, let's vote. Those in favor of the adoption of the offer for amendment to CP 22-18 offered by the Senator Christian, say aye. 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 Okay. Motion carried. The offer uh, for amendment is adopted. We now have CT1. Any further discussion on CT1? Speaker. <laughs> Speaker. Yes. Uh, Vice Chairman Palik. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, no, I rise in support of this um, bill and thank uh, Vice Chairman Christian for uh, sponsoring it. Um, this is uh, especially with the um, um, proposed amendment to allow other sectors in about five years. In a discussion I had with the private sector business owners in Koshai, and I met, we have, as you know, we have two hotels, formal, you know, operation in Koshrai, and both of them fully support this, but the comment they had was that um, uh, that maybe we should expand it, which is exactly what we're doing. Uh, some of these businesses have different needs, like some of them needs maintenance or other areas, and I thought that this bill addressed that. 
um, but I also, you know, realize uh, communication number 22-09 from uh, the president of the FSM Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and that communication regards to the, uh, you know, uh, labor force manpower, especially uh, to boost our uh, private sector development. And I think this is consistent with the needs and priorities of the nation. And uh, also relating to our earlier discussion on, on, on the bill on uh, salary uh, bonus, um, this, you know, hopefully will also assist the private sector um, activities. So, you know, generally I want to associate myself with this bill and uh, ready to support it. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. Thank you, uh, Vice Chairman Palik. Okay, any further discussion? If none, there's no objection. We will now vote on CP number 22 18 CP1 in the first reading. Chief Clerk. Second reading, Mr. Speaker. Delegation, on the delegation. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, second reading. For the state of two, Chairman Arredos. Yes. For the state of Pompey, Chairman Berman. of Pompey and for other purposes. Move for the passage of the bill. Any second? Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress pass on second and final reading CP number 22-2233. Discussion. Any discussion? A bill if none and without objection. Discussion is closed. We will vote by roll call of the delegations. Chief Clerk. For the state of Chuk, Chairman Arutos. Yes. For the state of Pompey, Chairman Perman. For the state of Koshai, Chairman Wali. Yes. For the state of Yab, Chairman Urusumal. Yes. On a second and final reading. Next bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next bill currently under the bill calendar is Congressional Bill Number 22-236 for second and final reading. CB Number 22-236 is, is a bill for NAC to <clears throat> further amend Public Law Number 19-32, as amended by Public Laws Numbers 19-45, 19-61, 19-83, 19-85, 19-86, 19-87, 19-88, 19-89, 19-90, 20-79 by amending sections 1, 9, and 12 thereof to correct technical errors in public law number 20-79 to change the use of funds previously appropriated therein and for other purposes. 
So move, Mr. Speaker. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress pass on second and final reading, CP number 22-236. Discussion. Should we just... So there's that amendment. Huh? We come back and we, we offer. Congress is back in session. Uh, we're discussing CP 22 236. Uh, Chairman Romulo, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I wish to offer a floor amendment on behalf of Speaker Wesley Simina to CP number 22 236. So, long, Mr. Speaker. Any second? Second. That's been moved and seconded that the offer for amendment to CP 22 236, offered by uh, Speaker Signa, be adopted. Uh, the uh, relevant rules are still suspended. Amendment, Speaker. The relevant rules are still suspended. And uh, Chief Clerk, read, read that. It's a short one. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have a floor amendment to Congressional Bill Number 22-236, offered by Speaker Wesley Simina. Item one, on page six, line 23, following the word assistance, insert the following. So my colon provided <coughs> further that the allottee of these funds shall establish guidelines to ensure that such eligibility criteria are clearly set forth and implemented. Okay, there you have it, short resist. Um, we're just back in session. We're discussing the offer uh, for amendment. Any discussion on it? If none, there's no objection. Discussion is closed. Let's vote. Those in favor of the adoption of the offer for amendment to CP 22 236, say aye. 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 Carried. The offer uh, for amendment to CP 22 236 is adopted. We now have CT1. Any further discussion on CT1? Discussion? Discussion. Discussion is closed. We'll vote by roll call of the delegations. For the state of Juke, Chairman Arutos. Yes. For the state of Pompey, Chairman Perman. For the state of Koshai, Koshai Chairman Wali. Yes. State of Yav, Chairman Rosamal. Arvon. Chairman Rosamal. Arvon. 
Mr. Speaker, all four states voted for the said bill under second and final reading. CP number 22-236 says CT1 has passed Congress on second and final reading. Next bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next bill currently under the bill calendar is uh, Congressional Bill number 22-237 for second and final reading. CP number 22-237 is a bill for an act to amend sections nine and 12 of public law number 19-118 as amended by public laws numbers 19-120, 19-131, 19-135, 19-146, In order to change the use and allotment of funds previously appropriated therein, for the purpose of funding capital and human resources development for the state of Chuuk and for other purposes. Chairman Figueiro. Move for the passage of the bill. Any second? Second. Second. That Congress pass on second and final reading, CP number 22-237. Discussion. Short recess. More. Congress is back in session. Uh, Speaker. Chairman uh, Figueroa. Thank you, Speaker. I move to defer action on the bill 22, CV number 22 237 to tomorrow's uh, calendar. Okay. Any second? Second. Second. Okay. 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 That CP number 22 237 be deferred to tomorrow's uh, bill calendar. Those in favor say aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. CP number 22-237 is adopted by Congress. Next bill. Deferred, Mr. Speaker. It's deferred to tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow's bill calendar. So next bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next bill is Congressional Bill Number 22-238 for second final reading. CB Number 22-238 is a bill for an act to further amend Section 805 of Title 54 of the Code of the Federated States of Micronesia, annotated as amended by Public Laws Numbers 18-107, 21-152, 22-57, and 22-139, to authorize on an ex extraordinary basis that the two states share of the extra 20% of net, net taxes collected during fiscal year 2023 be remitted to the municipal governments for the purpose of supplementing their operations and for other purposes. Chairman Figueiro. Move for the passage of the bill. Second. It's been moved and okay. that Congress pass uh, CP number 22-238 on second and final reading. Discussion. Short recess.
We'll go back. Conference back in session. Uh, we're discussing CP22-238 challenge gear. John Kulan, defer to tomorrow. Defer uh, to tomorrow's session of CP22-238 to move. Any second? Okay. Second. That the CP number 22-238 be deferred to tomorrow's uh, bill calendar. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion, aye. Motion carried. CP number 22-238 is deferred to tomorrow's uh, bill calendar. Okay, next bill deferred. Mr. Speaker, as of now, we do not have any more bills. Very okay, short readers.
discussion. Uh, we're still on the pink calendar, Chairman Romano. Thank you so much, Speaker. I wish to withdraw in place of CP number 239 and Andres Echanda. Okay, any second? Second. Right. We moved and seconded that CP number 22-239 be withdrawn from and placed on the field calendar for uh, first reading action. Uh, for leader Harbor, motion to suspend. Uh, Chairman Romolo, can you also uh, suspend the relevant rules for withdrawal? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Please do withdraw CP number 232 this any relevant rules that may impede our action. Any second? Yeah, okay. Okay. Moved and seconded that the relevant rules, specifically the rules requiring a certain period of time for a measure to be in committee before it can be withdrawn, be suspended. Those in favor say aye. Opposed nay. Aye. Motion carried. So the relevant rules are suspended. So let's vote on the main motion. Those in favor of the main motion say aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. So CP number 22-239 is withdrawn from committee and placed on the field calendar for first reading action. Chief Perk. Sorry, Mr. Speaker. Congress is back in session. So what's the bill? Next bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the bill calendar now is Congressional Bill number 22-239 for first reading. CB number 22-239 is a bill for NAC2. Further amend sections nine and 12 of public law number 20 131, as amended by public laws numbers 20-154, 20-159, 20-170, 20-171, 20-172, 20-173, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 20-174, 
Senator Pollock? Yes. Senator Berman? Senator Romalo? Right. Senator Urusumal? Oh, aye. Senator Wali? Yes. Speaker Simina? Yes. Mr. Speaker, we have uh, 13 affirmative votes for the said bill under first reading. CP number 22-239 as passed Congress on first reading. Next bill. Mr. Speaker, as of now, we do not do not have any more bills. Okay. Uh, short is. Congress is back in session. If there's no further business under the bill calendar, we will now vote on to item 20. That's the resolution calendar. First resolution. Yeah. Uh, Chipper. Mr. Speaker, as of now, we do not have any resolutions. Okay, Speaker. German permit. German permit. Thank German you, permit. Speaker. Um, I'd like to do a um, motion. The following uh, resolutions to be withdrawn and placed in our resolution calendar, that's 22-146, 22-147, and 22-149. I so move. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that resolutions 22-146, 147, and 149 be placed, withdrawn and placed on the resolution calendar for action. The relevant rules are still suspended. So let's vote. Those in favor of the motion say aye. Both nay. Aye. Motion carried. Uh, said, <clears throat> said resolutions 22-146, 147, and 149 are withdrawn from committee and placed on the resolution calendar for action. Short recess.
Congress is back in session. Uh, we have those uh, three resolutions uh, being placed. So first resolution, Chief Eric. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the resolution calendar now is uh, Congressional Bill number 22-146 for adoption. CR number 22-146 is a resolution approving and accepting a grant in the amount of $220,849 from the United States Department of Health and Human Service, Services, Centers for Disease Control and Pre Prevention to fund the Evesom Comprehensive Cancer Control Program for the budget period from June 30th, 2022 to June 29, 2023, including all the terms and conditions of the assistance. Move to, move to adopt the said resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt resolution number 22-146. Okay, discussion on the resolution. This is one of those salary things, friends. Uh, speak, speaker, all three are salaries. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Any other discussion? If none, without objection, discussion is closed. We will vote. Those in favor of, of the adoption of resolution number 22-146, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Resolution number 22-146 is adopted by Congress. Next resolution, you heard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The next resolution under the resolution calendar is a congressional resolution number 22-147 for adoption. CR number 22-147 is a resolution approving and accepting a grant in the amount of $176,686 from the United States Department of Human Services, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Service, Services Administration, Centers for Substance Abuse Treatment to provide funding support to the Evesom Behavioral Health and Wellness Program and its related activities and services, including all the terms and conditions of the assistance. Chairman Brevin. So move for its adoption. Second. That's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt resolution number 22-147. Discussion. Any discussion? Question. None. Without objection, discussion is closed. We will vote. Those in favor of the adoption of resolution number 22-147 say aye. 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 Nay. Aye. aye. Resolution number 22-147 is adopted by Congress. Next resolution, Chief Bird. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the resolution calendar now is Congressional resolution number 22-149 for adoption. CR number 22-149 is a resolution approving and accepting a grant in the amount of $372,499 from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, Center for Substance Abuse Treatment, to provide funding to the Avison Behavioral Health and Wellness Program and its related activities and services, including, including all the terms and conditions of the assistance. So move for the adoption of the said bill. Okay. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt resolution number 22-149. Discussion. Any discussion? Question. If none, without objection. Discussion is closed. We will vote. Those in favor of the adoption of resolution number 22-149 say aye. 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 Motion carried. Resolution number 22-149 is adopted by Congress. Next resolution, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As of now, we do not have any more resolutions. Okay. Uh, short recess.
conference wagon session. There being no further business on the resolution calendar, item 21, introduction of bills and resolutions. If you have any measure to introduce, pass them on to Chief Kirk. The next item is miscellaneous business. Uh, any miscellaneous business, Vice Chairman Christian. You are asking the vote on to miscellaneous business. Mr. Speaker, I move that Congress resolve itself into the committee of the whole to select the vice president for the nation. Second. Lord Regis.
Um, Chris is back in session. Uh, we're on the miscellaneous business. Uh, and during the recess, uh, we did an informal uh, caucus, and that decision was made. So that will be uh, formalized tomorrow in our special uh, order of business. <coughs> So, uh, any other miscellaneous business? Mr. Speaker, uh, on yes. this, on this yes. day, Congress has pointed to the individual who may step in uh, to fill the gap in our administration. Today also is the day that Pompey celebrates peace, the ending of World War II, uh, September 11. And so I, um, I just want to uh, say congratulations to uh, Senator Palik for the nomination and thank you for accepting uh, the choice of Congress. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Vice Chairman Christian, for your statement. And uh, if there is no further miscellaneous business, we will now go on to announcement. Chairman Willey. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Uh, there is no announcement from your committee on external affairs. Thank you. Okay, Chairman uh, Romano. No announcement, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Chairman uh, Conan. No oh, announcement. Thank you, Speaker. Okay, Chairman uh, Orishima. No announcement, Mr. Speaker. Chairman uh, Fikir. No announcement. Oh, yeah, I, I just want to remind members to be on the lookout for the uh, standing committee report on the FY23 <laughs> budget. Okay. Take you note. Get it, uh, sign it quickly. Okay. <clears throat> members of the Women's Committee, uh, look out for that report to uh, review and sign. Okay, uh, Chair Lady, uh, Ornman. Thank you, Mr. No Speaker. No announcement. Okay. All right, uh, Chairman uh, Ned. Any announcement? Likewise, Speaker. No announcement. Okay. Uh, Chairman Perman. Uh, can I yield the floor to Vice? Chairman Christian first, and then I'll do my announcement. Yeah, I will then start with uh, Vice Chairman Palik. Any announcement? Uh, no announcement, uh, Speaker. Thank you for the decision made by Congress. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, yeah. Vice Chairman well, Palik, for uh, your acceptance of that uh, decision of Congress. Okay. Uh, Vice Chairman Christian, you have any announcement? Uh, no, Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. I yield to Senator Perman. Uh, thank you. Uh, Senator Perman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, uh, no I just want member to uh, the uh, the awaiting requirement, I mean, the awaiting list of the report, standing report 22 51 and 52. I humbly ask members to really read it, go through it. And this is regarding CP number 22-225 and 226. And uh, it's all uh, regarding social security, the social security system. So please do review because tomorrow it will come out on the standing committee report. So uh, we can address it. Plus, Mr. Speaker, there's uh, as, as far as um, your health and social affairs. I have no announcement regarding that committee now, but if in Pompeii right now, we're experiencing a really, a, a flu that is actually uh, to me, because I also got it, it's kind of worse than the uh, COVID. COVID, it took about a day or maybe half a day, one and a half day, and I'm all good to go. This one I went out with it on uh, Friday and I just came out today. It's really, it called the influenza A. 
That's the new virus that is going around in Pompey. I don't know in Chuk, but I heard also in Chuk. Oh, the one in Chuk is Influenza P. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I wanted to announce uh, uh, on the health side. Thank you very much, Ooh. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chairman Perman. I guess uh, the influenza A virus got upset with the coronavirus 19. I mean, whatever uh, name of it, the variant for coming in and trying to take over its uh, job. But anyway, uh, thank you for the announcement and uh, Vice Speaker Moses, any announcement? Okay, if none, uh, Acting floor, Rosemont. Thank you very much, Mr. Oh. Speaker. If there are no further uh, business for action of this Congress, I move that Congress stands in recess until tomorrow at 10 o'clock, Duke and Yap time. Second. And Yap time. Again. It has been moved and seconded that Congress uh, stand in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning, uh, Yap time. Those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Motion carried. Congress now stands in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning, uh, 2 p.m. time.